We finally had our first official day on snow in the last episode at A Basin. After driving seven and a half hours from Park City to Silverthorne, we found ourselves back in Colorado with Luna. With subpar conditions at A Basin, we traveled a bit further west to Vail for some bluebird corduroy skiing. Welcome back to another episode of season two here. I'm currently in Vail, Colorado. Yesterday I skied at Arapahoe Basin and today we're out here at Vail. It got down to about like 12 or 13 degrees last night so it was actually pretty chilly for like a November ski trip but Van held up great. Um, didn't get disturbed at all at the Walmart which I was a little concerned about and I ripped out here to Vail in the morning. I don't remember who it was that told me about insulating the fan vent even more um, but they basically said put you know some foam insulation up there and so that's exactly what I did so I do listen to you guys I do take your feedback and all your advice things like that so I just cut this uh, square piece of foam that went up in there just to help insulate this area even a little bit more mistake as yesterday and not eat anything so just cooked up some quick potatoes omelet all that sort of stuff just get a nice breakfast in us um, and then I think the bus here only runs about like twice an hour so it's kind of like a strict timetable so I want to try to hit that so I don't get too late all that sort of stuff but this is just why I love Luna in general being able to cook meals like this with the kitchen and just be like it's just super comfortable you guys have seen it you guys have seen how it works it's definitely the best way to start the day for skiing bit I keep missing it so I figured it might be best just to sit here and wait for it I am using the fat skis today I just didn't really like the smaller ones yesterday so I don't know I'm gonna start to use the 116 the JJ's here even though it's just a total groomer day so beautiful day out should be really 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 fun and looking forward to getting some turns in Listen up, I've tried to tell you this a hundred times Not getting better by lying there pretending to cry You all repeat, you can see shit cause you have closed your eyes You say you listen but you miss it what it's all We just got off the gondola up here at Vail and I think there's only one main lift open So you kind of take the gondola up and I think there's uh, maybe a six pack open And then you got to download the gondola down but Right, it looks really nice. Seems like they got a lot of fresh corduroy. Beautiful day, so let's see what we get ourselves into. Whole lot different than A Basin yesterday. In between the lines, there's nothing there for you to complicate. We're not aligned. You say you listen, I'm guessing that's just another sign. Not growing up, you're growing old. You let me pass in. Good. There's a lot of unskied corduroy kind of like on the side of, of the, the trails there and I don't know I just really like the 116s a lot better than those 98s. They just feel a lot more springy and can really get in the edge. I just think the other skis are so old um, but even though these are a lot fatter I just think I get way more responsiveness out of them so it should be a really awesome day. I love that there's actually some groom stuff here. Uh, really get some good turns in.
just I enjoy skiing like right on the edge of the run. I don't necessarily recommend that. It's not truly what I'm saying, but I like it because a lot of the snow kind of gets pushed to the side because everyone skis in the middle. So I actually find like the best sort of coverage and just best snow right at the edge. And also like on the opening weekends like this when it's really packed, it just gives me one less sort of side or peripheral that I really have to worry about because I know if I'm up to the rope, typically no one's going to be going even more into the rope if that makes sense. So I can just kind of worry about who's on either my right or left side. Um, but that's kind of why I like skiing down the side. Again, not necessarily saying recommend it because it can um, kind of be a little bit dangerous with some trees or stumps, but just having fun trying different sort of camera angles. Um, I might try to throw the max like on my backpack with that pole, I don't, I don't know. But definitely a lot better than A Basin, I think, and the day out here is just beautiful. So I um, can't complain, but the line is getting a lot, lot longer. So I'm sure this would work better with a longer pole, but I'm basically gonna put the max on the max grip because it will basically make this, this stick invisible. So maybe I'll kind of give like almost like a drone feeling, um, but I don't think the pole is gonna be quite long enough. So really the trick is with this, you just wanna make sure your 360 camera is in line with the actual mount. If it's protruding out a little bit, the stick won't disappear. So you really need to make sure your mount, the base of the mount is sort of within the actual camera. So if I just lock this up, and the GoPro bag does have like a cool little area on the side here that might hold it, so we'll see how that works. The snow has been really, really good today, especially compared to yesterday. It actually feels like some real snow, which is awesome. The line has been pretty long, especially down at the bottom there, but it is nice to see everyone getting out and just sort of sharing the stoke. Um, they are loading all the chairs and gondolas at full capacity. It's not really any like all of the dis distancing stuff. So it's kind of nice to see sort of like a return to normal sort of thing here at the, the resorts and just so many people getting out and enjoying um, the day. It is super nice as I kept saying, but I think I'm only gonna do a couple more here just because in the effort of time, I do have like a six hour drive back and it's already about 12 o'clock. So by the time I actually get down and then take the gondola back and all that sort of stuff, um, I don't drive very well at night as you guys know. So just a few more here. There's only two runs open that we've just been farming all day, but um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying and a few more and then we will we will head down. Cry out now. Have you given up? I will never stop. That's a super, super dope day. I haven't been to Vail in probably like three years. So just forgot how well produced it was and just like how big everything is. So I think I'll definitely be coming back here as the season goes on a little bit, but on a good day, now I gotta figure out this bus system. I think I'm looking for the red bus. by the name of Jonathan Buckhouse. Um, he's kind of like the goat of all of this sort of ski vlog thing. He's actually a snowboarder, so he actually hit me up, said he saw me 
and wanted to like get together which i thought was really cool and surprising actually but I just want to give a little plug in to jonathan buckhouse if you don't know who he is i'll leave his channel in the description go check him out show him some love i mean maybe someday when i come back to colorado we could link up would be really cool my gps is showing i have a six hour and 15 minute drive ahead of me to get back to park city it's currently 2 15 which puts me at like 8 30 if i just go straight i'm obviously gonna need to stop and stuff so got a long drive ahead of us super well worth it but i'm gonna hit the road stop number one. Luna is absolutely filthy by the way from all that snow on the drive. I thought I was gonna need another stop for fuel, but I made it all on that one tank. About six hours later, it is currently 9.15 at night. That was the longest ski trip I've ever went on with Luna, and we did it on the very first weekend, so it's kind of a taste of what is left to come. But I hope you guys appreciated the trip out to Colorado and back in such a short time frame because it really is a lot of driving and travel for not a lot of actual skiing. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a thumbs up. It really does help out the videos and consider subscribing if you are not subscribed to the channel. So with all that being said, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.